Hello everyone and welcome back to Sorrento for round three of day two action here at the Nationals 2023 in the Australian Champion of Champions. We have, well when I say it's round three, it's round seven of the competition and we have a couple of matches that are going to determine our overall medalists in this one. Clive Adams here once more, Peter Harris is with me. Pete? Looking forward to the last round where all the medals will be decided. Yeah, we certainly come in with favourites, but things can happen. So we'll explain to you the situation very shortly. The players have just commenced the first end here. And we essentially have a light-coloured bowl versus a dark-coloured bowl. As we get heckled from alongside us. Yeah. <laughs> so who let them in? Comparing us to the... I don't even know their names, the two uh, the two Muppet uh, <laughs> commentators. If you're more comfortable in a balcony. How cruel, how cruel <laughs> can people be? But anyway. <laughs> All right, we, uh, we are brought to you, of course, by Tourism Western Australia, the Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries, as well as Lottery West, and the City of Joondalup, where all the action happens over the next two weeks. It's a fantastic time here. So it's currently three shots to... Sam Ferguson. Sam is the is the the clubhouse leader, if you like. She is. And really, her first task is to win twenty one eleven. Because if she wins twenty one eleven, she is our champion. Yep, can't be caught. So, uh, great shot there from Ray. Today. That's a nice saver early on. Just cuts it back to one, even though that ball's trying to fall out. It will just be one shot to Sam to get us cooking. Now, the other match of interest uh, in this one is the Laney McGorman and uh, Julia Brownie match because if Sam Ferguson does falter here, then Laney is poised to strike. So there's a couple of possibilities. Firstly, if Sam was to lose, then all Laney must do is win. Yes. If, if Sam was to lose and Laney was to lose then Cassandra Millerick will be taking a lot of interest yeah, in that because yeah. she can actually still catch them with a big win. She is playing um, Elisa Rigoni. Um, and the other the other calculation is if Sam does win, then Laney must win by essentially 13 more than hence, Sam wins by. Hence 11 being the magic number. Yeah, yep. yep. Well, Sam's started well again. Fairly still conditions at the moment. Yeah. Wind has died away. Flags are looking reasonably limp on the flagpoles. As I say that, just a little bit of breeze teases through, but it's, uh, it's only a cooling breeze now. Certainly nice under this shade. It is. I think it's still quite warm out out in the uh, out in the sun. But so Sam, of course, from St John's qualified through Engadine and uh, Ray Simpson from Kings Meadow. Kings Meadow held this event, the Australian Champion of Champions just a few years ago, Pete. Yeah, not that long ago, was it? I can tell you it was sat out next to the busiest road it felt like in the world <laughs> in Tasmania. And it was about and it was about 3 degrees, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely freezing there. <laughs> Uh, may, be, may well be one of Lee Schroner's wins, I think. Finding the gap. It's a really nice start here from Sam, considering she is winless today. Is that right? No, she won the first game that we covered. Oh, I wasn't here. She lost, ah, the, last right. she lost the last one. Yes. Lost the last one, which put her under a little bit of pressure. Yeah, I did have a chat to her uh, before this match. I said to her, well, you've made it interesting by uh, by not really doing much in that previous round. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Food has gone off for the under-18, so a bit of noise suddenly... Yep. Plenty still to happen over there for uh, determining our finals for tonight. Remembering we will have the under-18 boys final for you from 5.30, thereabouts, 5.30 Western time. 
and we're looking forward to that. This one just needs to climb underneath and it has. A little nudge of the jack won't hurt. And uh, that is currently three shots to Sam Ferguson. I will say that um, Cassandra Miller must have played well in that previous game because Sam has been playing very, very well. Yes. She she did say she really struggled and she didn't she didn't really make Cass have to work hard enough for no. the shots that she scored and you know when that happens you often lose, especially against a player of Cass's quality. Now, is there a uh, run down onto her own bowl here? No, just on the outside. This is everything, so... So that looks like it's going to be three more so to Sam. She takes a big step forward. Strong start. Just the start she's looking for. If there was any slight nerves about just having to go out there and get it done, uh, they settle nicely with four shots on the board. All your results are in the Bowls Link portal, so if you want to have a look at the under-18s competition or the Power Nationals that have been played over at Warwick, you can do so by following the link that's in our description of our feed. Uh, you can safely follow those links that are up there and uh, click on there. You can have a look through all the events that make up the Nationals and check out how your favourites are going. too far she is playing see I'm not sure there is necessarily a wide and narrow hand right now might be playing the slightly wider hand I think that hand will only, it will only it, get wider it's not going to be the narrow hand let's put it that no, way yep. it's only going to get wider Correction that required in the grass line. Yeah, well, Sam's settled quite well here, yes. hasn't she? Ray just finding the weight. Changes hands. So, speaking of that time, we were down in uh, Kings Meadow. Ray actually competed in that uh, Champion of Champions down there as well. They've got uh, they've got both an indoor and outdoor facilities at Kings Meadow. The weight was pretty good then, just didn't quite find the line. May force Sam to move. No, she's going to stick on that forehand. Well, Sam's in the area again, just needs to yep. drop under and it will. It's a great shot. Stayed true to her line, didn't let that bowl in the way, well, it wasn't in the way, didn't let that no. bother her. I just undecided, but chooses back to the forehand again. Just something to sit there if she just run, you know, just searches through her just a touch. Ray using the SRVs, Sam Ferguson using her Hanselite XGs, the uh, SRV being a tailor bowl for Ray. Just needs a little touch. What's well, helped? Certainly might. It is second. Marker holds up one paddle. Well, we're back to Di. Di Milner looking after us again from South Australia. Di will indicate with the paddles throughout the match. Very experienced ITO. We've done well with our dies actually looking after us marking. It's we had die in the first game, then we had uh, then we had die Hudson. Hudson. Now we're back to die Milner. Of course, all the volunteers do an amazing job here at the Nationals. Brilliant. Yep, they're from WA or from interstate. They've all 
very much appreciated. Well, certainly that's the ITOs and officials and then you've got uh, markers that are more local and then you've got all the other hard workers here at, uh, at the three host clubs. But all go together to make this up. I think that'll just be a one to Sam. Confirmed one. Five shots to nil. Nice start when you playing for a gold medal. Five nil up, three ends, and being very consistent as well. Yeah, so a reminder that we will know our medalists at the end of this round. There is no final in this event. You get a nice close up of the yes. scoreboard. <laughs> we were at the wacker for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep, complete round robin format. So everyone has played everyone. So the opportunities have been there. Every result counts big time. And now for yep. Sam Ferguson, it's just a opportunity to finish this off for an Australian title. Now, we should talk about Lee Schroener. Well, he's sitting up there. He's watching. He's watching. But he's carefree, Pete. <laughs> because he's got a 23-shot <laughs> yes. advantage. Yeah, you can't win by 23, Pete. <laughs> yeah, just put the medal around my neck. Lee Schroener is... Our men's champion. We might even see at some stage if he wants, over, wants to come over and have a chat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what an amazing performance. It's just when you have a pet event and it happens to be an Australian title that gives you a chance at a world mm. title, it's a decent one to have. As uh, Ray closes in on the jack. But when you consider all the work just to get to your pet event. Yeah. Got to go through your state competition, and he's done it in multiple states. Uh, so it's a huge effort. It's a lot of wins there just to get to this point. Now, the medals are up for grabs in that one, though, in terms of silver and bronze. The current standings... Let's go through the men's standings, and then we'll we'll have a, another look at the women's standings. So the, the men's standings has Lee Schroener will be our champion. He can't be he can't be caught. Glenn Pitts is on four wins, and he's plus fourteen. Um, Jack East is on three wins, but plus three. And Craig Mills two wins minus two. Dan Baker two wins minus six. That's where the medals come from. Yes. Um, Craig Mills is playing Glenn Pitts. Jack East is playing Scott Dagwell, and Dan Baker is playing uh, Brenton Code. So we'll keep an eye on the scores as they as they evolve. But basically, if Pitts and East mm. both win, then they will be the silver and bronze medalists in that order. Yes. Uh, if Pitts loses, that opens the door for East to catch him for silver, uh, and. It also opens the door for Mills to, to catch East, if you like. Yeah, so Pitts mm. and East are playing for silver. They're the only two that can be silver. Yep. And then he has... F and Pitts can't miss a medal. Yep. He's either going to get silver or bronze because he has two games in front of Mills, who is currently in fourth. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like one of those word puzzles, yeah. isn't it? And then mm. East, Mills and Baker are all fighting it out for the bronze. Yep. With the bonus for East being but he can yeah. actually still grab yep. silver. Still grab silver or he could grab nothing. Mm. It's a big game for him. When you go all the way back to the start of the... When we saw Lee Schreiner lose the first game... Yeah. So ...on the bottom of the table after round one. Ray gets a little slide off the front there and uh, goes right down onto the jack. So Sam Ferguson's going to head up and have a look. So I hope you're all listening because there will be a test later as to who can win yeah, what. Please, yeah. <laughs> uh, in the women's draw, we've talked about the, uh, the Ferguson and um, McGormick... Uh, McGorman uh, opportunities. Uh, Cassandra Millerick can still slide into the silver position. Um, and Julia Brownie, if she beats Laney McGorman, can actually still get into uh, a yes. medal a medal contention. Uh, the most you'd think she can do is bronze, just with her shots against. You'd have to have a very big win to have any chance of going yes. any higher than that. But uh, she can slide into a medal if, uh, if Cass Millerick was to lose. So a little bit more defined in in the women's draw in a sense of the overall medalists. There's four people Correct. that will that will be medalists, whereas the, 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 the medalists will come from... In the men's, it's actually five people that the, the medalists will come from. But check it all out for yourself on the, on the portal. Get in there and check out the results. Sam, 
Oh, it's under on the way. Yeah, it's under a bit of pressure this end, so it's been a great end by, by Ray here, holding two. She's uh, found her length. Yeah, so the only the only thing now for Ray is her last bowl, that's, uh, the, the closest bowl, slid off the front. She mm. won't want to be tight with her no. last bowl here because doesn't want to turn her own to Jack. So just needs to find a slightly uh, wider line. Her weight was good. She's actually going to go to the forehand, so she's changing sides. Lanny McGorman leads five shots to two at the moment. And the uh, Vic NT is three all, so no progress there. So Ray's on the board. Yep, two shots confirmed, and it is a 5-2 lead to Sam Ferguson in this one. This is the final round of the Women's Champion of Champions. Sam Ferguson in prime position to take the title. That is why we've gone with this match. It's hers to lose in, in one sense. And of course we've still got the boys under 18's final to come. It will be at 5.30 WA time. Ray's brought the mat up a bit, but the jack is not longish, so it's still three-quarter length. Maybe a little touch shorter than that. Is sticking to what will become then will become more narrow as the game goes on because that breeze is sea breeze is in. It's pleasant, isn't it though? And starting to pick up a little bit. Ray gets a nice land there and lands on the jack. It tends um, to be at Sorrento. Yeah. The white hand on this green doesn't never seem to be as wide as you think, and the narrow hand is not ever as narrow as you think. You're talking about the hand, I meant the breeze. <laughs> Breeze is quite pleasant. The breeze is pleasant, but I'm talking about the hands. <laughs> it's never as wide as you think. So you can play that wide hand and not actually get caught. No, there is a shed alongside this green, mm. and it tends to protect the wind a little bit. So a bit of local knowledge, I'm sure, the uh, Sorrento boys and girls know about. Getting down after just got uh, sidetracked by uh, Lee walking past and Ray sitting on the jack. Hmm. Yeah, that was the bowl that bounced off yes. the jack high one. Yep. Yes. You saw it. I yep. got sidetracked. <laughs> I was having a quick chat to Lee at that point in time and you're. Again, she's pretty close again, isn't she? It's yeah, really just going to just settle in, and it's going to. Beautifully so played. Putting some pressure on. 
I've just had a look through the boys' singles sections, Pete. Riley Garrick from Queensland leads the first section. He's had two wins, albeit by just plus four. Mm-hmm. But he's now playing um, South Australia, Charlie Hicks, who is yet to win a game. Uh, so Riley Garrick in a prime spot there to win all three and get through to the final. And then the, the, the still chances if he will lose, if he was to lose that, then the winner of Kobe Cromie and Bailey Randall can both will both catch him if if yeah, if Riley was up. to lose. Um, as we see Sam, Sam playing some on the weight. attack, she's going to get what a oh, shot and stayed. Wow, that is a fantastic, fantastic result shot with a fantastic ultimate result. Right in the zone for what she was after, gets the one, and it is a six shots to two advantage now to Sam Ferguson. In section two of the boys' singles, Callum Alberti from WA uh, leads the charge there. He is, has won both of his games and is plus 18. You've then got Jonty Hayes from Tasmania who is on one win plus one. And Jacob Aitken from New South Wales who is one win minus two. Uh, Aitken is playing Alberti in the final round, so Alberti there to keep him at bay needs to win. Well, he needs to score. Yeah, not lose. Needs to score about 11 or 12 to keep him at bay. And then that would potentially offer an opportunity for Hayes, who is playing um, uh, Penu from the ACT. So we'll keep an eye on what we can. They are on the corner green. Yeah, it's going to make it difficult, but we will keep an eye on those as best we can. We've got a good view of the Alberti oh, yes, and Aitken match. He's on this one, so it's 3-2 yep. at the moment to Alberti. So Sam has gone long again in this game, as she tends to do. Of course, all those results will frame our match for tonight. So her and Lee play actually quite a similar length. Matt's always back. And Jack is... Three quarters to long, somewhere in that area. The mat position doesn't falter much. Good to see Ray just finding her range. It's taken her a couple of ends just to find her range, but she had a good end last end, only uh, thwarted by a, uh, a great final bowl yeah. by Sam. Val McKenzie back watching. Hello, Val. Plenty of great sure. comments coming through cheering for Ray. Val McKenzie's an Aaron T's fan, Pete. Oh, ardent, ardent Aaron T's there fan. Are plenty of them. <laughs> plenty of them. Ray looking for this to get all the way back. Just needs to run a bit further to count. She's Just out. I'm not sure she is. We've had. Haven't Oh, measure, measure there. So it's around two feet, just under two feet. Sam's last ball went through. Once again, we find ourselves in this opposite hand shootout. Yes. Crash into the front for Sam. No, no reward there. Look, on that angle, it looks like the purple bowl is shot, but we might not even agree here, so there might be a measure <laughs> might be a measure coming if it doesn't change. I was having a better look now, so she gives a more definitive result. It doesn't look like it. But she, this is going to pass underneath. It is. I, li I like the intent, but she had two bowls to turn. Yep. We'll sit through the hole. She could actually get to the, the sand bowls. So yeah, the weight was almost perfect, really. Yeah. The intent was great. So Sam, has she found, um, even if she finds the hole, she hasn't got the weight. Well, that will be useful because it puts a little bit of doubt into That's Ray's mind in terms of what she's promoting. Really one of those, if she hits that, she's actually narrower than what she needed to be anyway. So mm, Looks like this one's struggling oh, to get the here. the line was perfect too. Still trying. Still the trying. The line is perfect. Well, has that made a difference? Might be two measures or three-wall measure. There's a 
there's sort of a knob there by right. I don't know what that means. We'll find out. Yeah, he's going to the front one first. Had to be careful we didn't knock one of those balls in with the camera. <laughs> yeah, yes. Get me down. <laughs> down with the... And the purple... One beats that, and they're not even looking at the other one. Purple is the shot. He's quietly pleased with himself here um, for all those listening. I'm not going to be so quiet about it. I don't want to say <laughs> I told you so, Pete, but uh, I believe I did. So 6-3 uh, the lead to Sam Ferguson. What about 7-2? Oh, on. That just put you back in place, 7-2. Oh. Sam, Sam is the purple bowls, mate, if you didn't know. Well, the dark blue. Yeah, so it was the one I favoured. I got that right. You I just put the score right. down wrong. Yeah. yeah, so you're not so smug now, are you? 7-2 it is. <laughs> <laughs> just goes to show, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it can be brought back down to earth. Go a little bit early. <laughs> start. Sam did say she's a fan of, well, I mean, any time, anyone that plays singles is a fan of nailing it with the first bowler, but it's something <laughs> she puts a focus on. She really yep. puts a focus on, on getting that first bowl in, yep. in the right area. Takes a little bit of pressure off the uh, next one or two, if you've got that first one close. So again, we're sticking with Opposite hands. So he just needs to run this out a little bit more, and that will do. Certainly will. A great right. start. You can't argue that one for sure. Um, Les is watching from Roma, Italy. Lovely place. Stella will. Uh, Stella will like that. She was from Roma, Roma. in Queensland. <laughs> I'm not sure she'll care that much, but. <laughs> Stella, who won our Australian under-18s girls final last night from Roma in Queensland. And we've got uh, Robert watching from South Wales. We go everywhere. It's fantastic. Sydney covered there in the comments. Everywhere. So Ray's sticking with his backhand. She's got to be a little bit careful. She doesn't really want to get close with this ball. She must be going to the back, I would assume. Does not want to touch her own bowl. And that's a really good effort. Score updates from next door. 6-5 lead to Julia Brownie over Laney McGorman. And a 6-4 lead to Cassandra Millerick over Elisa Rigoni. So Wensley may not be far off confirming a winner here. Those games continue to evolve like that. I mean, Sam still has to win. I was going to say, might confirm that Sam has to lose to lose it. Yeah, yeah. Might confirm that bit. Shots up will be taken out Seven of the equation. 7-2, a very handy advantage to have already. But Ray's still got plenty to say in this outcome. So Ray was sticking to this backhand. Will she continue? Yes, she will, which is interesting. It's one of those ones you'd like to ask them what are you trying to achieve with this bowl? Because you're unlikely to count. But you could give it away. I'll tell you what, it's a fair effort. It's a great effort. Oh. <laughs> great effort. But as you say, to actually get into count was near on impossible. Well, Sam's got just a little nudge to play here, hasn't she? Yeah, she just needs to arrive. It doesn't matter which hand, really. She can arrive either hand. Let's get that jack moving. And it's most likely to be going in her favour. So sticking with the hand she's been playing, she'll be arriving with... Well, six inches of weight is enough, but might give yourself a little bit more than that. She's close. And it needs to get all the way here before it bends. It's very it's close. close. What a shot. a shot. shot. Oh. That is a perfect shot. Oh. Sensational. 
you could see it was it was really starting to get home late, wasn't it? And uh, she just judged it perfectly. This is probably now where Ray would would like to have had something to play to, because she hasn't got anything behind. Yeah, as good as that previous bowl of hers was, I don't want to say it was wasted, but it almost was, wasn't yes, it? Yes, well, it mm. Yeah. Because now she's in a situation she doesn't really want the jack to move. But she needs to attack. But she needs to attack. So needs a bit of bowl. Bowl to bowl, which she can still do there. Sticking on this hand. Pushing hers forward or just sliding underneath to get to the edge of the shot bowl. A lot of weight, but just needs to wriggle. That's a really good mm, effort. Didn't quite get the wriggle that was needed. Played a really look good end. Is she going to be two down? No, oh, look at them. They're all over the jack. Fantastic stuff. And I believe that's well. You'd think it's two, wouldn't you? You think it's two from the yeah the thing. You'd, we do look outside, straight yeah. at the head. Two has been signalled. So and there's hesitation, but yeah. That is a nine-two lead now to Sam Ferguson and she pushes towards victory if she wins yes. the match she is the champion she wins by a small margin she's still likely to be the champion being joined by a very special guest mate uh, 23 shots up going into the final round with a bye not too much of a concern Lee Rayner I'm enjoying a power aid <laughs> congratulations mate I mean wow is this four titles in six years seven years yes and I was ineligible to even play club championships last year for moving states so it's four out of five wow I mean uh it's just a remarkable thing. We've talked about this before, how this event feels like your pet event. Um, lost the first round. Uh, how are you feeling after that? I mean, it's 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 not the first time you've had to come back in these events. I know that firsthand. <laughs> but uh, but what an amazing what an amazing run you're having. And uh, tell us about how you feel when you're playing singles at the moment, because you're just about unbeatable, despite that one loss, but you're just about unbeatable in singles at the moment. No, I've lost four singles games in, I lost three at the fiver side as well, a couple of weeks ago. Golden Nugget champion as well. Mm. I mean, it's got to be, it's got to feel pretty good at the moment. I think it'll sink in when the medal turns up. Yeah. Um, it's hard work out here. Daniel was on fire in that first game and I thought, oh geez, my position's going to play like this, so be lucky to even medal, so to speak. Um, I just decided to run more. Now I know why you WA guys drive a lot, eh? We noticed that. <laughs> we noticed that in in your game that we covered earlier on that you had decided to play the runner because it's not necessarily a shot of choice for you. It's it's a shot you can play and it's a shot mm. you play well, but but you probably do favour more of a, a draw style game uh, over the years you have. So, yeah. but that runner's still a nice weapon that you have, and it. You're right, the in-between shots are tough in these conditions. Well, the draw's tough too. <laughs> I mean, about 12 o'clock, the Fremantle doctor kicked in early on in our game and our tight hand became our wide hand. And um, you know, I started all right in that last game and so did Cody. And then as soon as the doctor came in, he, he couldn't find it. Like the, the, the turn just became extraordinary on the Fremantle side of the green, you know. I think it's the Fremantle side of the green, that side, is it? Yes, Good. Well, it's the beach side anyway. The beach side, yeah. yeah. Well, it dropped about five degrees in two seconds. Yes, it certainly did. We we do look forward to that sea breeze coming in here in uh, in WA. But uh, as we see, Sam looking to just land in there, just uh, misses and passes by. Yeah, so after that first loss, how, how did you feel? Did you just 
take that in the stride and say, well, that's okay. In in these sorts of events, in the round robin format, you can probably afford one, but then you got to win from there, haven't you? Yeah, uh, you try and win them all, but yep. I mean, once once you've lost the first game, I just have sort of had the attitude, all right, well, if I lose another one, I'm out, mm. so to speak, and just played. Um, Ooh. A little bit of a unique way of getting a bowl into the into the mix there for Ray, but I think it's probably still going to be uh, one to Sam. And, of course, Sam's now got the job of uh, trying to finish off her work. Mm. Lee, I notice you've been sitting up there watching this one. Yeah, it was still a bit hot in the sun. <laughs> so Yeah, no, it'd be nice to get the New South double. Um, I think I've said the Vic double before, and even the Taz double we tried to get one year. Yes. So, um, <laughs> Same same name four times, three different states. Yeah, it's oh, look as I say, and, and and an opportunity to play for another world title. I know that's something you hold so dear. <laughs> yeah, I've, whispers is Hong Kong. Okay, that's the whisper I've heard. Wow. So, um, yeah, I mean that'll be a solid nine over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slightly slightly different conditions to here. But, yes, uh, as we add one more onto the score for Sam Ferguson there, 10, ten shots to two. Let's just hope they change that crazy format, eh? Three sets of five ends. Yeah, that was different, wasn't it? I mean, the World Men's Final went for ten ends. 45-minute game. Shocking. Well, we'll see what they uh, we'll see what they come up with. Certainly, the the leaning is towards the uh, the, the faster formats, and uh, we'll we'll see what they uh, we'll see what they decide out of that. But uh, some nice comments coming through. Uh, Nick Twining says legend, legendary stuff, Leroy, and uh, George Bruce says a demolition. I think David's keeping a close eye on Sam, is he too? Uh, yeah, I guess he would be. Yeah, keep it going, Sammy. He's saying. Oh, yes, there is. Yes. Andy and I, fingers crossed. Beautiful. On your Fergo. He'll be uh, he'll be over here competing later in the week. Bring bug spray. <laughs> B- bug spray and uh, and a wind guard, hey? Oh, look. It looked like over there the wind... Is, is it, you're quite... I wouldn't say boisterous on the green, but you know how you're feeling when you watch when you watch you play. You, 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 you wear your emotions on your sleeve a fair bit. Yeah. Was the wind really getting to you, or was it just just you sounding off to to get it out of your mind? Oh, look, it's, everyone's copping it. It's just it just depends when you cop it. You know, you don't want a big gust when you're three down with space to draw shot. Um, you know, it's sometimes I'd I'd launch a bowl down there into the wind. There'd be no wind. I'd slide through six, seven feet, and I'd be like, oh, well, the wind will come up next bowl, so I'll play the same. And then I'd get a strong head wind and six or seven foot short. I'm, Thinking the wind's the other way around. I got two on the jack, but it uh, it's something that uh, the the clubs along the uh, along the North Metro coast and and even further up the coast in WA, people will know what you're talking about because uh, if you play at those clubs, you you very rarely play without uh, a strong breeze to make it a challenge. I think a lot of my opponents, oh, ex- except for Millsy, they they were all trying uh, in between shots. I just put them in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be lucky if I had two or three of them again. I think I had three one end against Cody and just said, nah, put that put that one away. Um, so just whenever it, they got near it, I just ran at it. Yeah. And I, I guess that's that comes with experience and, and confidence in, in your game to make those right decisions. Yeah, look, I ran second bowl a few times, first bowl a few times. Um, if they stack one next to it, I'm better off going one down, going while I'm one down because, you know, the arm only gets tighter the more they stick in there. And then I suppose it puts doubts in their mind. Should I whack one round the back? I don't want to build a target. They might mess around with their line a bit and not get one close and give me another go at it. So, it's, so there's there's more to it than just getting it. I suppose it's a bit of um, gameplay as well. So we watch Ray group another one around the jack. Ray would be a player you'd be fairly familiar with as well. Oh, she's had a brilliant season in... Last season in Tasmania, I think she won four state titles. Wow, yeah. You know, that's hard work down there too. Variations in the greens. Mm. Just going to hold on the outside. We've seen uh, we've seen Sam play a fair bit of uh, of wide hand over the last two days. Yep. She's, she's chosen to do that and maybe, maybe sort of make wind work for you rather than against you. 
Um, but let, let's talk about singles play with you because it's obviously you've been so successful with singles. If, if someone out there is looking to improve their singles game, what what sort of tactics, what sort of things can they look for to improve their singles game? Well, you've got to have a game plan. Right. For one, I've been ditched to ditch a long time, but um, those that watch the Nugget, I played short ends there. Um, so I'm not so one-dimensional anymore. Um, you've got to have a solid runner, even if you only run one hand. Now, I generally only run one hand. Everyone knows forehand. Um, as long as you've got a solid runner, one hand, you're going to need it. Um, and if the green's kind, you're probably not going to run as much. If the green's tricky, you're going to run more. So you've got to just adapt to the conditions. And again, it's not about getting bowls on the jack. It's just about getting closer than your opposition. Yeah, absolutely. And that, and in these windy conditions, that comes to the fore uh, big time. Three shots there to Ray Simpson. She now trails five shots to ten with uh, Sam Ferguson in the lead. So, well, there's a lot to look forward to now, mate. Uh, Four days off before... New South Wales arrive. For yeah, the and how exciting is it to uh, to be skippering for New South Wales? You must be really looking forward to that. You've got a great rink underneath you, so you must be really looking forward to it. Yeah, they've put a lot of trust in me. You know, I played second at the last sides, kind of enjoyed it. It's nice, just float a few around it. You can get it, you know, if you, you can get a skip. But, um, I don't know. Carl Healy playing through to you, is that right? Yeah, so Matt Bouse is not, unfortunately, not making the trip. He's got some family issues. Um... I'm He's going to have to that. stay back in Newcastle. Yep. So Carl, who was playing second originally, has come over with me. So pretty handy, pretty handy uh, guy to have plays. Wow! Well, he just won the Will Force playing yeah, three. So <laughs> yeah. my, he's got a solid runner as well. So um, you know we're going to need those. I just think the runner's going to be critical over here. Uh, the locals are telling me it hasn't even blown yet. So absolutely. If it gets much stronger than this, we're going to need a hose on uh, A and C green, I can tell you. Because <laughs> A green is humming. Now, you you mentioned yesterday that that was uh, up with the wind, was up somewhere around 19 seconds. Yeah, close to 19. I, I think it got too quick. You know, that can happen when it's blowing a gale. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I mean, so we've got, you know, A green running 18, 18 odd seconds. C green's running sort of 16, 17. What's this one here? This, this one's is B. This is B, is it? Yep. B. So B's running 15, 16, and then I know D's got a lot better the last month or so to what it was, but it's, you know it's only about 13, 13 and a half. So the players coming to the Alley Shield and Nationals are, may have to adapt their own game depending on which green you're on. Yeah. Okay. You know, I think you know A and C might see a bit more aggression because of the speed and the wind, whereas yeah. Don't give away all the secrets, mate. Oh, it's <laughs> look, I'll be happy if someone tries to play in, besho- in between shots all day. Yeah. They're yep. going to get one or two, but they're going to miss about 30 of them because <laughs> it's, it's that hard. <laughs> yeah, you start messing with your line, you can... <laughs> High flaps. <laughs> Matty Flapper congratulating you on the way past <laughs> <laughs> in Typical his own way. Matty style. Yeah. In his own way. Sam Ferguson here nestles in and lands in there for shot. <laughs> Beautifully played. Big shot. Um, credit to uh, Sorrento, mate. They've really uh, put on a great show, haven't they, here? Tell you what, the club people are brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, all so the ladies, excited. every time I get a plate of food, no, take more, take more. I'm like, no, I don't eat, mate. Take more. <laughs> Have another roll. Here, we got some fruit for you, you know. Even this morning, I come in and I was a bit, a bit uh, dry and wanted... Um, power aid and the bar wasn't open of course at eight o'clock and one of the locals slipped in me five bucks and he uh unlocked the back back of the bar and got one out for me so willing to go the extra mile for you mate that's uh that's what it's all about and the uh the clubs here are so keen to uh to impress and so keen to put on a great display for everyone as ray on the attack here just misses wide oh. wasn't far away it was perhaps one of those sort of in between shots um Although there was enough weight to play a fairly solid line there. Well, as we, I mean, the wind's down at the moment. Mm. Uh, it's sort of calmed off, so hence why we've seen some uh, really good heads. Because how's Sam going here? Well, she's in there again. Ness That's is brilliant. in. That is outstanding. That's All right. Brilliant. That is a 12 5 advantage to Sam Ferguson. Mate, we'll let you go and uh, enjoy the rest of the event. But um, 
It must be must be a nice event to enjoy when you, you can't possibly lose and there's still a uh, round to go. So congratulations, Cheers. mate. You're a star, and uh, you've done another amazing job. Well done. I've got the four corners now. The four corners? Yeah. Darwin, Perth, Hobart, Gold Coast. You do. <laughs> you do. You coming to Hillary's tonight? <laughs> I won't be, but I'm oh, sure you'll come be there. On. No. <laughs> come have on. have a great celebration, mate, and well done. Congratulations. Cheers. I hear they shot at five, so <laughs> see how we go. <laughs> Lee Schrainer there and we appreciate his time and we appreciate his wonderful play as well. What a star. As Peter Harris rejoins me. Yeah, he's uh such a relaxed individual, isn't he? Is, he just he is. goes about it and gets it done. No, very good. So while you were talking, I had a quick look at the back. Uh, all very close. Uh, SA in Queensland in the men's singles are like 9-8. Uh, Jack East in the WA, I think, over ACT. He's about 4-5 or five in front. And the Vic NT, is it? Pretty sure it is. They're 8-9 as well, so not much in that game. And in the boys' singles, which is the important one for certainly WA, Callum Alberti is leading 11-3 over yeah. his New South Wales opponent. So He's got a healthy shots advantage as well, so, so I think that 11 might be enough. That's, he's very close to actually securing his mm. place in the gold medal gun. I'm sure he wants to go through undefeated, but that's very close. Meanwhile, right here, Sam Ferguson is trying to weave her way to a title. She leads it 12-5. If she wins, all over. If she loses, it does open the door for Laney McGorman to take the title. Laney is leading 8-7 at the moment over Julia Brownie. I've missed the last couple of ends. Sam is on this backhand now. Is that just because of the uh, bowl in the front, or has she actually switched? Do you know? Probably because of the bowl in the front. I think the it? bowl in front, yes. And well, she's played that hand well. She's got a great feel for it at the moment, although we've seen Ray groups and bowls as well. Got three, two ends ago when we were talking to Leroy. Line here, it's all on the weight. Well, she's done very well. Just needs it to pull up and fall back. That will be the shot. Four out of the last five Australian champion of champions, and he couldn't because he couldn't play in one of them. That is an amazing. Yeah, that's hard to see that being beaten. Wow. Mm. As we said before, all the games you've got to get through just to get here, going through your state. It's hard to see. I tell it's you what, look at this. <laughs> one turn. Oh, oh, didn't quite get it to go over. It's probably so still one to yep. Ray. So it is. And well, that in the end, that actually now helps Ray. She's got something to play to yes. that's sticking out. A little movement of the jack wouldn't hurt. Well, again, track is terrific, and this is a great shot. Doesn't want to get... That's outstanding. Here, Jack, didn't matter. Outstanding, just shows the quality of the players here. Ray Simpson, who is out of contention for... Uh, You, so had she's to, out you, of, yeah. you had to hold back. I think she is now. That yeah, when I said there's only four that can actually medal, that's not actually true. The bronze medal is available for Ray, but it would have had to have been a massive win. I yeah, think I we think might be too far gone for that. And of course, yep. Cass Miller would have had to have lose five view, and it's probably out of reach. It's yeah, that's possible. why. That's just why I paused. It, it, just, is, yeah. it is still possible, but uh, two, two it is. 
7-12, the scoreline. Um, Sam Ferguson leads that scoreboard. And if she closes out, victory will be our champion. We say the Cass Millerick and Elisa Rigoni match, Pete. Elisa's in front there, 11 she shots is, to nine. She is, so I'm sure she wants to go home with a win, although she's not going home for a while because she's in a few other things, but <laughs> <laughs> she'd like to start the next event with a win. Yeah, she won't get much uh, time to relax, uh, I think, over the next... She said she might get a, a couple of days while the, while the seniors Senior. is on. And then she's also in the Australian Championships and obviously in the uh, in the open side for the NT. So, be a busy little time. Having said that, the heat's not something that really bothers her. I was no. talking to her because no. coming from the Northern Territory, she's no. quite comfortable in the in the warmer conditions. Great start by both ladies well, here. Look at those two both balls. Ladies. Oh. So they are playing in the best of conditions at, at the moment. Just a light breeze. While you were away, we did have a comment come through from David Ferguson cheering on. I'm sure he is. Indy as well. She's definitely doing those two proud. So a little bit more weight here, a bit of sit and stay, but just going to slide around the outside. But maybe a bit more than she might have wanted. Yeah, it's one of those. If she got contact, it probably didn't, didn't matter. matter. Not necessarily. Mm. But once you miss, it doesn't look quite so quite so impressive. But. Uh, it's there for later. Okay, also just sliding around the outside. Nicely placed, but it could be useful. Well, that might that might uh, mean that Sam will keep that weight now because if she gets to the jack, she'd rather try a little bit further. So we'll see what she's That's decided to do. She's definitely lost weight. And that was more just a, a really nestling type draw shot. Another usefully placed so bowl though. It's his last bowl, so Ray would ideally like to be getting to the jack. Yep, hide it away behind those bowls in front. Well, for a warm day, Pete, it's actually turned into quite a beautiful day. It is very nice, isn't it? Probably a smaller crowd than yesterday. Got a lot of bowls going on in Perth themselves. A lot of practice a matches. A lot of pennant practices. Yeah. With yeah. Pennant coming up. Even the locals were were going away to a, a couple of pennant practices. So Ray got the journey here. Well, that's another great shot. It doesn't. I don't think it counts, does it? Not from uh, now it, looking on the uh, green, it that, doesn't. That, that won't count. But uh, it's closer on the uh, on the picture, I think, than it does actually. Is a mm. not that it'll matter. I think you might play a bit more weight here. Well, there's weight contact now to, to play contact. right through the split. Yeah, contact to contact, it won't matter. She does have the backest as well. Well, there's nothing overboard with no, weight. She hasn't gone too big, has she? So Right in the zone, though. She gets her own over. Doesn't really want to move the jack. She moved it clean, Ooh. so that is going to be two now. Yeah, no, Unlucky. No doubt about that now. That'll be two shots to Ray Simpson, and she closes the gap. Twelve shots to nine. She's won three of the last four ends, and they've all been multiples. In fact, all four ends have been multiples because uh, Sam, the end Sam won. She grabbed a two as well. Okay. 
Laney McGorman leads 11 8. Okay. Over Julia Brownie. She's doing her part. There's room for this to get interesting from here. Close this out really quick just to put the pressure on Sam. But you need to win this. Great shot by Sam. Great shot when you haven't got the jack and your opponent doesn't get close with their first. That's a you go bang. No better feeling than that. Yeah, absolutely. You're playing your length and I'm on top of it. It's a great reply, but Have a it? look at it. Dead centre. So, a little bit quiet for a little while. Just Graves. needed to get it dead centre. People don't mind a little bit of quiet at times, No, Pete. exactly. Let the bowls <laughs> do the talking. Exactly. Ray was just getting a bit of water, so there's a slight delay. Got to keep the fluids up. But that is a great reply. So Sam just pushing under. Okay, so if you Ray now, do you go to the backhand? Well, good question. I oh, probably would. That's where she's going. Okay, she's uh, she's you know, got a new jack. That's Sam's bowl. A foot behind. Oh, she's on the way to that. She's awfully close. Beautiful that play. Is a great shot. Tucks it away a bit too. That is the perfect shot. Wow. Okay, she's warming up. Putting a bit of pressure back on here. Needs it to get down. It's not quite going to. Just on the outside. Fantastic effort. So... Ray will do here whether she wants another one she is Sam does have a couple of catching bowls if the jack gets squeezed on the uh, left on the backhand side if she maybe plays a bit wider just to cover those uh, squeezing bowls She's pretty close to the jack again. Sitting the ball, throwing. It's a good effort. I expect Sam to play a bit more weight here. If she can squeeze the jack out, jack high to the side. She's got the counters waiting. Spot on. It is more weight. But underneath, no avail. Well, there's a bit of a change coming over this yeah. one, Pete, at the moment. Having a little look at that third one because Sam did get rid of her third shot. Brings the other two back into play. I don't think Ray's claiming it, but so two, two shots. more. So it's three twos in a row. It's a 12 11 lead to Sam Ferguson. This thing's tighten up here. Things are interesting in the uh, boys' singles, Pete. Mm -hmm. Just looking at the score updates on our 
score update page. Riley Garrick trailing Charlie Hicks. If Riley Ooh, Garrick loses that, then it opens the door for Kobe Chromie or Bailey Randall. They're just about level, 9-8 uh, in favour of Bailey Randall. Yep. And then as we know, Callum Alberti currently leading 13-7. John T. Hayes, well, he hasn't because no. if he doesn't win, then John T. Hayes can still can still catch him. John T. Hayes is leading 10-4. Okay. So it's not quite enough for Callum just yet. So we'll keep an eye on those games as they evolve. But right now, Sam Ferguson's got a fight on her hands. Yes. And because Laney... Laney yeah. She's uh, pulling away, 14-8. So Laney is making her charge for the title. So they're making her charge to put some pressure on Sam. Not the first time we've seen this title decided in the last round. No. It happened up at Broad Beach when Carla Krasanik took the crown. Yeah, we'd be looking just to get some consistency back. She's just only chopped off a, just a little bit, but it's been enough for Ray because she's actually picked her game up a little bit. Yeah. She's turned the tables. The danger for Sam now, and she's an experienced player, but the danger is that the outcome starts to creep into the mm. mind. Yep. Happens to all of us. In all... In all in matches where you put the outcome... where the outcome starts to creep in... Instead of the process of just drawing close, that's when it can get a little bit dangerous. And so we, Ray's lifted her game. That's yeah, what that's definitely. what's happened here. Um, Sam hasn't exactly dropped her standard. It's Ray is now challenging. Correct. So she just needs to fight her way through that, get back to what she was doing before, and this is a pretty good start to do that. It's a really good shot. Yeah, right round her own. It's a great shot. And some protection from the jack. Ray is studying this head, looking at what she's going to do. her decision she's I don't know if she can have enough weight on the backhand to get underneath Sam's bowl to the shot bowl or she's still on that backhand which is more of a draw no she looks like backhand so she might be playing some weight here looking to be under the front She's, she's caught the caught edge on the, the way through. A little bit of luck, but she was in the area. She and certainly she's was. one of those ones where she she got under it. She was sitting the ball in the middle. Yep. Currently holds so two. Well, there's a little bit of luck. It was also a really good shot. Still room for Sam to rectify it. it needs a good ball. Needs to, clear needs to get past. The weight looked okay. Okay, well, it's going to be two more on the board to Ray Simpson. She takes the lead, 13 shots to 12. Four ends in a row and all twos. That closes the gap really quick. Just looking over behind us, it's a 13-12 lead to Bailey Randall over Kobe Cromie at the moment. So that's the two Vicks playing off, although one is in the composite team, aren't they? Yes. So, but they are both Victorian. That's Bailey, Bailey Randall is the is yep. the composite player. Yes, both, both Victorian. So it's a bit of a grudge match. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just looking for the uh, the Tasmania South Australia boys singles game. Ah, okay, yep. This is Tasmania ACT, isn't it? Tasmania ACT, that's who it is. Yes, that's why I couldn't find the Tasmania no. South Australia game. <laughs> no, you're looking in two different directions. <laughs> well, that is that. That board is the that longest, board is the hard one to away. say. Yes, <laughs> it doesn't get any further away than that. All right, we'll keep our eye on this for now because this has massive repercussions right now. As another great Good shot, shot there from Sam Ferguson. Right now, Lanny McGorman leads 16-8. And her best friend right now is Ray Simpson. <laughs> yes, yes. 18-8. 18 out. 18-8, eight. 18 eight, the lead to she's, Lanny right now. She's trying to close that out as quickly as she can. Ray just underneath. It'll go a fair way too, so opportunity for Sam here. Lisa Rigoni leads 13-11 over Cassandra Millerick. So that takes her, well that was a long shot anyway, takes her out of the equation for gold, Millerick. She won't get the shots up she needs, even if these two lose. Yeah, it needed to be a massive win. She still can get to Sewer, but does obviously need McGowan to lose. It's a bit of a save there. That's a nice second for, for Ray Simpson. She's not getting back as much as she would hope. Certainly taking her time. She's not in a hurry. Composing herself. There are a couple of flies around. Getting rid of some <laughs> of the locals. Yep. <laughs> they are quite friendly. <laughs> I think it was going to get into view. Is it in Tasmania you get the big bumblebees? Is that Tasmania? It is, isn't it? You get the big bumblebees. And flies are probably a tad more friendly than a big helicopter bumblebee coming in. A helicopter bumblebee. Is that their official name? Uh, no. Ah, good. <laughs> that would be scary. Hey, this is a good track here. This is... Just arriving, is it, or is it just pulled up? Well, it's in the it's in the discussion, that's for sure. But just one, just the one, didn't quite make it. Well, for the superstitious among us, Pete, thirteen all, thirteen all is a disastrous scoreline. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, we got over the 13 end mark. That's good. Yes, absolutely. So 13 apiece here. It's a race to eight. Sam Ferguson wants to win that race, and if she does, then she will be our champion. If she doesn't, Lainey McGorman is poised to strike. So we have gone virtually we have gone ditch to ditch. Can't really stretch this out any further. Sixteen nine lead to Callum Alberti in the boys singles. I believe the Tasmanian boy is in front of the ACT. Not sure how many, but one was in double figures and one wasn't. Yeah, I've just got a couple of people in the way.
away over that scoreboard at the moment. It's a long way away, so it's not surprising that it's uh, that a good uh, two and a half yeah. greens away in Likely. terms of uh, distance. So, opportunity for both players still here. Both of them four feet short. Yep, it's a game of correction, Pete. See who can do it. It's a clear road. Didn't quite get it. A little mm. bit closer. Yeah, it makes that bowl useful now. Ray find a meter on her first attempt. I don't think that has quite got the trip. No, sliding underneath. Sam again on this backhand, still looking to slide underneath. Uh, how much of that she got? It's unfortunate. Well, that will be the shot. Yep, so yep, it's one so to Ray. Hands on and head. Yes. <laughs> and I don't know that Sam's really got to look at that bowl to play anything. I mean, she's got her own bowls coming up. Yeah. She can do that. She can do the same. Uh, this might so hurt again. her butt here because this is quite close. This is a really good shot. So I think it looked like she had a line to it, but I don't know what she wants to do. There's still a line to the jack. Pumping her bowls forward underneath the jack. Gee, you're two down. You'd like to think you could just draw play shot. a draw shot. Yep. Yeah, well, that's the weight she's got. Oh. Who's this going line-wise? Yeah, the line was for more weight. Well, this is huge right now. Ray Simpson with an open draw to draw a third and really put things in the mix. Young ladies next to us enjoying themselves. <laughs> cheering for cheering, the under 18s. Cheering for the under 18s. Specifically their daughters. Yes. So How's this going? Well, this is going pretty well. How is this going for Ray Simpson? Well, That's that is going to count. That is, an, that is three shots. Three shots, so. The digits well. Work. 16 13. The lead to Ray Simpson. We, we will just wait for confirmation, but I'm sure it's going to be three. Three confirmed. Three. And Ray Simpson hits the lead for the first time in the match. Is it? Yes, that is the first time. Oh, no, sorry. Two ends ago, 13 12. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, second time in the match. Well, two ends ago is a long time. It's the time. first time in the match since the other time. Yeah. Long time, <laughs> but regardless of all that, Pete, it means it is Ooh. game on. The medal is on the line here. Well, the gold medal is on the line. She's a short of a medal, but she'd much rather gold, I'm sure. Are you just hesitating. Someone just walking at the back there. Sam just off the back of the rink there, just gathering her thoughts. There's the start, just going to go through a bit. There's another single to Laney McGorman. She's now 20, 20 to 8. So Chance to uh, close that off reasonably quickly. Calamel Birdie 16 13 yes. now. I think he just dropped a four. So game on there as well. Now, just trying to look at the 
Tasmania ACT. I reckon Tasmania's won it on rink 6, 21-7. Yeah. It's the very end board. Just yeah, you are correct. Where Alan Gallup is about to walk. 21-7, 21-7 you are to correct. Tasmania. So... That's a plus 14. That puts John T. Hayes up to plus 15, uh, unofficially. Yep. We'll say unofficially at this stage. Two wins. Which means Callum Alberti needs to get to 19 to guarantee himself a place. Yep, I'm sure he'd rather win it, but he does then to get to 19. I'm sure, he'll okay. take, I'm sure he'll take a spot in the final if he can get to 19, 19. and lose. <laughs> Now, Sam Ferguson has added another there. Just two, yep. Still beatable. What a finish. Great finishes all the way around, isn't there? We always... As spectators uh, and, and neutral spectators, we hope for a thrilling finish. Yes. Is this going to run for Ray? Yeah, I don't really mind who wins. I just want a good game. Uh, but you have to feel for the competitors a little bit and what they're going through in this uh, in this situation. That one might have just pulled up too short yep. for Ray. So, so at least one. Hasn't quite had a signal from Di there. but um, She will change hands, so playing to her own bowl here. It's so easy to sit here and... You know, make judgments and and say how thrilling it is, but the players are going through it. Yes. And you know, there's an opportunity for a world title on the line here. That world title chance by winning this event. It just blocked Ray Simpson's line. So will she switch? Sixteen fourteen to Callum Alberti now. Yeah, boys singles eighteen twelve twelve Victorian down in the boys singles in that section. So that is uh, Bailey Randall leading Kobe Cromie. Now, the Queensland-South Australia match. I'm not sure we've got vision of that one. It'll be over on the far green. Yeah, that's the next furthest quink away that we could possibly have. They're still in play. I believe it's 12-11 to Queensland in that one. Opportunity for Sam here. I believe Riley Garrick's leading 12-11. She's got at least one, you would suspect. Can she add to it? Ray just taking a more interest than us. And Ergen Blamer. Let's forget about the cameras after a while. So taking out one. We'll warn you, all of these score updates we give you are unofficial. Just we're relying on scoreboards being correct. We're relying on scoreboards being correct from a distance as well. Yes. Oh, so that's not what it used to be. Result just be on the TV there. One. One to Sam Ferguson. Intrigue continues. 16 14 to Ray Simpson. But a comment there from Mitchell Griffiths saying, What great visuals from the live stream. The person doing it must be really talented. 
Do we know him, Mitchell? <laughs> I think we do. <laughs> well done, Mitch. <laughs> Getting more confident by the minute. I think we might have to have, to have a word to him. <laughs> he is doing a wonderful job. Looks can be deceiving, though. <laughs> Tell everyone he'll be here about 10 o'clock tonight, 9 o'clock tonight, and he'll be straight to Warwick to set up for tomorrow. Yeah, early start He's tomorrow, a, right? a busy young man, I can tell you. We will be at the Paranationals tomorrow. Looking forward to that. I uh, spoke to a couple of people that were out there this morning, and they said it was just fantastic, fantastic standard. Lani McGorman leads 20 shots to nine. Yep, she's not quite closing it out. She has last ball on this end and one down. As Ray Simpson closes in again. Yes. Just drifts across, but that's enough for uh, a very solid start. And got a bit unlucky there, Lani, so she will still be one down. So 20 to 10 her scoreboard will be. Sam reaching. If she reaches this, she's very good. And she is. That's a great shot. Might force Ray to sh change hands. A really important few ends right now for Sam Ferguson. Can she find a few more like that mm. over the next half an hour to three quarters an hour? We'll determine whether she takes home the title. Yeah, the pressure's all on her. I'm sure Ray would love to win this, no doubt, but the pressure of a gold medal is not on her. Yeah. So there's a little bit more freedom. A little bit more freedom. Tell you what. And she's close. She's all over it. Great shot. Great shot. Trails it to the back of the rink. Still plenty of room to draw. Line. Clear she's run will do it. She's close. Oh, and does it pull up? Wow, it kept going, didn't it? Nudge the jack on the way past. That was a fine feather. Hmm. Still one to Ray Simpson. Riley Garrick leads 13 11 over Charlie Hicks. If Riley Garrick wins that match, he is in the gold medal match. If he loses it, then Bailey Randall is currently leading Ray. Kobe Cromey. Ray will draw another one here. 19 so 14. That is two, I believe. Um, Jack High Bowl is still shot. So. Important bowl here. She doesn't want to go two or three down this end. This is huge. It needs, needs to clear. To, she clears. Oh, we didn't this stop is last keep time. Rolling. Same bowl. Well, she did fall back in off hers. Is it perhaps cut it down or is it still two? Die will have a look for us. No, Die she, won't get in there oh, until. We're going to this again, are yep. we? Yep. Die won't get in there until Ray's cleared the head. Oh, she might let you down here. No, nope, she'll get in there and have a look for us. She's letting and you the down. Ray's heading back. Oh. Okay, well, we'll, we will assume that it hasn't changed. We'll so it's still two. Changed. We will. Well, this is... It gets three here to put it to 19. Lani McGorman is holding game in her match and Julia has changed that yeah, so she's no longer holding game but this will drop for three I would just, it yes, has yeah, no, I believe I'm, it has yes looked like it was just going to track past but worried me for a second but 
It worried you. Well, yeah. <laughs> I reckon Sam will be the one that's worried about it because this is now danger time. Okay, definitely two. They're measuring that third one. The reality... The reality that this could happen will be setting in for Sam. Can she fight back here and get the win? It is three shots. Three, 19. 19 14 oh. is the scoreline in a match that Sam Ferguson must win. Having said that, Laney isn't over the line no, yet. No, that last one is just evading here. They are, I'm not sure. What a finish. Measuring for shot or second shot in that rink. Laney is over okay. the line. <laughs> yes. Yep, secures the one shot with a measure. So, so Laney moves into the number one position at this point. Sam Ferguson must score seven shots before Ray Simpson gets two more. Just looking at the NT Vic score as well. That's NT leading 19-11. How does that change the bronze medal game if she does close that out? Obviously NT can't get the bronze medal, but... I think Should we hang on? That, that, that equation adds up perfectly for Cassandra Millerick to hang on because the most Ray can get to is square. She can win by seven, mm -hmm. so she could get to square. And Cassandra Miller, the most she can drop to, is minus excuse one. me, is plus, plus one. one. So she could get there by a shot. Mm. So Cassandra Miller, it's probably done at enough this point, the has the bronze medal. Yep. Right now, Laney's got a nervous watch, but she'd probably be rather in her position right now than Sam Ferguson's. So Kellum Birdie's got to eighteen. I think we said he had to get to 19. Yes. But he's got to 18 so far. So if Callum ticks that over to 19, he is assured of so that is the gold medal match. 18-14. He currently leads in that boys' singles game. The Vic composite game is still tightening up with composite leading 19-16. Over the Vic Torians. Sam Ferguson now. Can she nail this jack? Needs this to run. This is going to land short. Anybody's in this one. So those bowls on your screen look reasonably close, but we will say they are about a metre short of the jack. A yeah, metre short and a metre long. Yeah, pretty much. They shouldn't be the winning bowls. Unless they get hit up or jack moves. Well, Ray has made a correction. And that will be good enough for shot. Remembering Ray only needs two shots here. And it's all over. Yeah, Sam needs one metre. Well, well there's definitely you. correction. Has she got the it? jack? Doesn't need the jack. She's drawn the shot. Good shot. Good shot. Just Brilliant bowl under all sorts of pressure. But Ray's got a shot on here. Yeah, Ray's shown a, a desire for a little bit of uh, aggression. She's well, played that shot pretty well. And, and it's not Jack. overly aggressive here, Pete. No. It's land the bowl or sneak the jack. Yeah, this is a good setup for her. She's played this pretty well. So I expect this just to be arriving here. Yep, metre of weight. That's all that's required. Hasn't got a lot. <laughs> oh, she'd love to have that metre weight right now with that line. Just comes up short of it. A nervous <laughs> lady McCormick. I just looked across at <laughs> lady and she's got a, a nervous look on her face. She can do no more. And you've got to be neutral. 
<laughs> your head and heart saying different things, but he's doing a great job there. So Sam needs to draw another one here. Beat the jack high bowl. Two shots, get it back on track. This is the time when looks pretty well weighted. Yeah, good. That's a good shot. Great shot. That will do for two. So what a great couple of bowls from Sam Ferguson. 19-16, so she still faces that danger of the opposition yes. being able to finish the game when when she can't. But she gets control of the mat. 19-16 is the scoreline. I was going to say, this is the time when you stand on the mat and you think the wind is stronger than what it was when your opponent bowled and people walking past and there's all these distractions. Everything's against you. You've got to put that out of your head. Just had a question in here uh, from Craig asking, uh, in England we play with two mats, one each end of the green. Is it common in Australia to only use one mat and carry it up and down the green? Uh, oh. it, it varies. Yeah. They have two mats. They're just choosing not to necessarily... But I think probably most of the time the players choose to carry the mat. Generally yes. you'll ask the opposition at the start of the game, are you happy to carry the mat? And they'll say yes or no. Yeah. Um, if you choose to have two mats in a game of singles with me, at some point I will carry the mat down and, and forget. Yes, I will forget as well. <laughs> um, and more likely when you haven't got an ITO and you've just got a marker, you probably don't make them pick up the mat. Yeah, often often the players, the agreement here is that they can leave the mat behind the marker, will pick it up. Yes. Sam, just missing, Sam just missing with her first. That score should be 19-16 there. Yep. So oh, scoring on our on the live stream. Just looking for our live scorer, and I'm not sure they are there. There's the score on your screen. It's definitely 19-16. So. I'm just going to run it out. She's yep, great shot. It's about a foot short. Something to beat. Good line by Ray. Don't Trying to, it does get past it. I didn't think I was going to get past it for a second, but it's a great shot. That's really hard to beat, too. It's hidden behind Sam's own bowl. Probably needs to arrive here, just turn her own bowl off the line so she can get to it or sneak around it. Just oh, what an incredible situation. And she just going to do enough. Well, it's no. nudged it, but oh. not done enough. And the angle by it falling down doesn't help her either. So apologies for that score. That is linked straight in with our live scoring. So 19-16 is the score. So Ray just pulls up short. Good dilemma here from Sam. She's de she's on the way to have a look because this is the angles aren't great for her. Just uh, yep, just change the camera view. Ray's right? just standing on the line. This is a better angle. She can get to the jack, but it's going to have to be really good weight to get enough of it to get it past the bowl. Turning her own bowls probably doesn't do the job. So, if you're Mitch, we're using this angle bowl, it'll come into view in a minute. Hasn't got a lot of weight, so it's more of a draw. Just coming down. I'll tell you what. Trying to get down. Fantastic effort.
So there's an opportunity and a safe opportunity too here for Ray to bowl to draw the winning shot. She's going to have to get very close, but it's, there's not a lot of danger there for her. She sits off the last Sam bowl. She probably falls in for shot, for second shot. Um, so this could be the winning bowl. It's on its well, way. She's got the... Right, wait, she must be... Don't think this is quite no. going to get down. It's a good effort. So we continue. <laughs> so we continue. One shot it is to Ray Simpson. It's 2016. So Callum Alberti, the news coming through is that he has booked his place in the gold medal. In the gold medal match. With the 21 14 win over New South Wales. And Riley Garrick is still playing. 15 12, I believe that scoreline is. 15 12 to. Queensland? Queensland, yes. That is against South Australia. Riley needs to win that. Um, so again, our score is 2016 for those looking. Yeah, apologies for that. It appears that we have uh, we might need to just remove that scoreboard because that is misleading at the moment. There it goes. Yep, so 20, 2016, 2016 is the score. 2016 is the score. Sure, what's happened to our scorer? It just seems like the link. Oh, I think the score is up to date. I think the link has gone down. It's gone, okay. Mm. Well, nice start here from Ray. Wow. <laughs> Pressure is on. It's in a pretty good position for Sam. She can. Something to sit, something to reach. She has pushed through it. But don't it's know, not far down. off. It's very close to the Ooh, jack. It's sorry. just no, just snicked the jack on the way past. She didn't need the snick, did she? She made it that little bit harder. There we go. There's the yeah. updated score. That is now correct. Thank you very much. Very composing herself. Ray's on the way down. It's going to slide past her own. This is a really good shot. She's putting so much pressure on Sam Ferguson. So much pressure. That's a great second shot. Caitlin just asking about the under-18 singles final. 5.30 Western time. Well, Caitlin is Western, so yeah. is Western Australia. Yeah. So now, how about this? Watch. How about this for Sam? She's just going to drop under. So... 5.30 start time for that boys' singles final, thereabouts. Um, I don't believe it'll be any earlier than that. It's uh, Last last night it was slightly delayed when we had the uh, the girls' final starting a little bit later than that. Right now, all the attention is on rink B3 here at Sorrento because Ray Simpson Again, she's, holds she's two or three there. Two is the signal from Di Milner. One's enough to end this match. Bit of a wait here. Sam needs to open this up. What's she going to get off that? Well, that helps. She's got second shot. Got second shot, gives which her a chance. gives her a chance. Yeah. So. The nervous Laney McGorman watches on. Laney has won her match and wins the title if Sam Ferguson cannot get shot with her last bowl. is Ray to do? Do the same as her last, I would suspect. I think so. I think she'll want a second shot so that makes Sam draw it, really. Essentially. Not a lot going for her other than that, so if she can draw a second shot here, she'll make... Tell you what, she's very close, too. 
keeps going. Well, that is an outstanding she's, bowl. She's played a great end. And really, it's almost impossible to get both of those bowls yep. now. This is going to have to be a draw shot. Laney watches on nervously. I can't see that Sam can play weight at this. I mean, the only op she can play weight to kill. Hmm. But she's not going to get both bowls. So that is a dead draw, or the kill is the only option. We've got the view from behind. We'll just have a look at them from behind if we can. No, nope, I shouldn't have that view at the moment. It's okay. There we go. That, that'll do. The edge edge good. of the bowl that's on the jack. Doesn't look very good. unlikely to get them both. And not to move hers as well, which is right behind it. Here we go. Title on the line right here. There's a draw. There's a draw. Looking to draw to the jack. It's holding wide. It's holding wide. This is not going to get down. It's very close, but it's not going to get down. And that is going to be two shots to Ray Simpson, and she takes the match. Always a difficult feeling. Lani McGorman looks like she's in tears. We're going to go and see if she can come over and join us. It's one of these bittersweet feelings, but Lani must feel amazing right now. Um, a spare a thought for Sam Ferguson. Sam will take home a silver medal, but our gold medalist and Australian champion is Lainey McGorman, who joins me in just about tears. You can hardly move. <laughs> How are you? Um, better now. <laughs> it's been a nervous 15 minutes since I got off. What an amazing finish. I mean, that was quite a close game that you were involved in till about the halfway point, yeah, it was, then you put the foot down. Yeah, it was really tight tight early. How, yep. how are you feeling going into that one? I mean, it's it's these things in round-robin tournaments, they bring up unique situations yeah. where you never know what to expect. And, you know, um, both games were quite close. Sam had a lead. Were you keeping an eye on what was going on over there? Oh, were you trying to ignore it? Timmy told me off because I was looking at it. <laughs> um, so I guess I was a bit. Um, but I knew I just had to score 21 shots and that's all I could do and then see what happened from there. So... Here we are. You've had a few cracks at these events, haven't you? You've uh, you've 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 qualified quite a few times for champion and champions. How many times? Uh, second. Oh, so I thought last it was more year. than that. No, okay. last year, and I got a bronze last year, so that felt all right. But this feels a lot better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nicely, nicely worded. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so tell us about that that the, the second half of that game against Julia, because Julia was pushing you there, and in, in fact, a couple of times you held game, and she managed to get back out of it again. Yeah, um, I, I stretched it out, and um, that threw her for a bit, and I, I was just getting my first one there, which I struggled with this morning against Sam, so I really concentrated on getting my first one on, and sort of putting the pressure on early, rather than chasing. And of course, you had such a great game uh, this morning as well, it was a wonderful yeah, game was, of balls. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, no, it was. When it swings and roundabouts, that one. You're fighting off some tears? Yep. You don't have to fight them <laughs> off. Um, yep. A world title opportunity comes with this. Yeah, I don't even know where that is next year. Lee Schreiner was, uh, was guessing Hong Kong. Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Yeah, no, that sounds fun. How's the how's the two days been? I mean, um, Sorrento's put on a, an amazing show here. Um, how how have the two days been? It's been quite warm. Yeah. Probably quite pleasant now, actually. But yeah. um, how have you found it? Um, greens are amazing. The weather's been a bit warm, but I'd rather that than cold. Um, the Sorrento, nothing's too much. They're helpful. Everyone's friendly. Um, no, it's been a really good two days. Really good, you know, camaraderie on the green between the girls as well, which which is nice. Yeah, that's no, been good. What's the celebrations look like tonight? Oh, I think a few pints. <laughs> Maybe more than a, a few. <laughs> yeah. What a remarkable win. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, do, do you want to say a word for Sam? I mean, obviously you feel for her. I, I do. Um, you know, she was in the box seat after this morning. Um, Cass played a blinder out there and, you know, Ray's come back at her out here. She, she's had an amazing tournament. Probably the most consistent of all of us, to be honest. Um, she's had a really good one. Yep. You are an Australian champion. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Well done, Lainey. Cheers. We'll let you go and celebrate. Awesome. Thanks for that. <laughs> the nerves can settle a bit.
<laughs> Lainey McGorman, our Australian champion of champions in the women's event. Congratulations, Lainey, as uh, Pete rejoins me. So our champions are, uh, are Lainey McGorman and Lee Schreiner. Now, Pete, how much information do we have on the uh, on the rest of these results have, have come through? You're talking about the boys' results? Yes. Yeah, so we, we know that the, the finishing positions in the... Um, in the champion of champions. Let's concentrate on that first. So the, the finishing positions gold medal goes to Laney McGorman in the women's uh, silver medal will go to Sam Ferguson and the bronze medal will go the way of Bolivia, uh, Bolivia, <laughs> Cassandra yes. Millerick. Uh, that is the gold, silver and bronze there. In the men's champion of champions, we know that Lee Schreiner is our gold medalist. Just having, I know Jack East won. Okay, so we'll just, just need to see if we've got girls. those results yeah. that have come through. So just stick with us just for a moment while we... Uh, while we so Craig Mills beat Glenn Pitts, 21-17. We have a final ladder here. It's really Shana. Jack East has made it into the silver medal position. That is definitely with all results in. That's all yes, results. Yes, okay, so Jack East is in the silver, and Actually, I assume... Yep, no, the, the last result isn't in, but it won't affect anything. Currently, Glenn Pitts is third... With Craig Mills fourth. Yeah, well, Glenn had a shot. So yeah. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn was uncatchable by, by yeah. Craig Mills. So, so the Jack only not in is the Daniel Baker Brenton code, but that doesn't actually that affect. That won't affect the medal. So, results. Be, yep. So, Jack East from WA is number two, and Glenn Pitts, number th Queensland, is number three. All right, there you have it. There is your champion of champion results. Now, all the uh, under-18s events are still finishing. Still we know that uh, Bailey Randall has won that match with Kobe Cromie. So Bailey Randall is guaranteed to be playing for a medal tonight. It looks like Riley Gerrick is leading 16-12. Correct, so that's got a bit yep. of the way to so go. So Riley has to win that game to play for gold. Otherwise, it'll be Bailey Randall. In the boys' singles in the other section... Uh, Callum Alberti is booked in for a gold medal match. So WA has a uh, WA competitor into the boys' singles final. And Jonty Hayes from Tasmania will play for the bronze. Correct. All right. We are going to leave you there. We will be back at 5.30 Western time. It is currently 10 minutes past four here in Western Australia. It's a big thank you to Tourism Western Australia, the Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries alongside Lottery West. And, of course, the city of Joondalup, where all the action happens for the Nationals 2023. Pete, thank you again for your time. Thank you very much. Forward and to the final. we will be back with the boys' final tonight in around about an hour and 20 minutes. Set your alarms, set your notifications, like the Bowls Australia Facebook page, do everything you can because you don't want to miss that final. We'll catch you back here at Sorrento then.